Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about a related rates problem. It's one involving a light post and a guy walking away from the light post and he's casting a shadow and you're given how fast he's walking away from it and then you want to know how quickly his shadow is increasing or you want to know how his shadow is increasing as the guy is walking away. So, and here's the problem. A man six feet tall is walking away from a street light 20 feet high at a rate of five feet per second. At what rate is the tip of his shadow moving when he is 24 feet from the light post? And at what rate is the length of his shadow increasing? Okay, so you can kind of visually see in your head that there's a guy walking away from a light post and it's casting a shadow. And just putting that together, you can see that it's going to form a triangle. So let's start by drawing out the light post, the guy, and the ground. Okay, so there we go. There's a man six feet tall, and here's a light post 20 feet high. All right, now he's walking away at a rate of five feet per second. All right, um, and he's 24 feet away from the light post. Uh, before we start plugging in numbers in here, uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Um, what's moving? Okay, ask yourself what's, what's moving, what has motion in here? It looks like this right here is increasing, and it looks like this right here is increasing, right? As he walks away, this changes, okay? So let's assign this to be X, and let's assign this to be Y, okay? And since we're dealing with what appears to be similar triangles, we can set up a ratio proportion to relate X and Y. So let's go ahead and do that. So well, I'm sure you're familiar with this. You've done enough problems like this before. It's Y is to 6 as x plus y is to 20, right? You guys see that? Okay, if not, just you can separate this triangle and the bigger one and draw two different triangles. Um, as a matter of fact, I have another video on that. You could take a look at that. Um, just type in uh, similar triangles and you'll find it. Okay, um, so here we go. So you have y is to 6 or 6 is to y. We'll just use y is to 6 as x plus y is to 20. There we go. And now just cross multiply. So you get 6 times x plus y, which is going to be 6x plus 6y. 6x plus 6y. And that's equal to 20y. Okay, and we can move the y to the other side and get 6x is equal to 14y. Okay, so there we go. Now we've related X and Y. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to figure out what the question's asking. It's asking at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving when he is 24 feet from the light post? Well, right here, I could tell you what you're doing is you're dealing with a linear equation, basically. What's going to happen, if I was to divide by 14, which... I think I'm going to do here in a second, but if I was to divide by 14 here, I'll get y is equal to mx. And the plus b would be plus 0. So I'm dealing with a linear equation. Um, so in the differentiating process, and you're going to zero out the constants. So in this case here, you don't need to uh, plug that 24 in. As a matter of fact, you're not going to really use it. Okay? And for that simple fact, the fact that there is, uh, this is just a linear equation and you're not going to use it now. If had one of these been powered, then yeah, that, that would be, uh, you would use that. So that's kind of an important tip, um, you know, for these kind of problems here. Don't be so quick to start plugging in numbers right away. The, pl the numbers you do want to plug in are going the important ones are the rate of change, okay, which you're going to see right now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep on going here. So I have this, 6x equal to 14y. Now let's differentiate implicitly with respect to time, okay? Because as time goes by, things are increasing, okay? So let's differentiate with respect to time. So that's going to be 6dx over dt is equal to 14dy over dt. Okay, uh, now I am given, what am I given here? The rate at which he's walking is 5 feet per second. So that's this over here. So this would be my dx dt. So let's go ahead and state that in blue. dx over dt is equal to 5 feet 
per second. And I want to find out what my dy is. So that is the question. What is dy over dt? And that's going to be feet per second as well. So we need to figure out what that is. Um, let's keep on going over here. I'm going to isolate the dy over dt by dividing by 14. And so that'll be dy over dt is equal to 6 over 14, which is 3 over 7. So that's going to be 3 sevenths dx over dt is equal to dy over dt. Now, since you know dx over dt is 5, just plug that in. So you'll get 3 sevenths times dx over dt is 5 is equal to dy over dt. Okay? And that'll be 15 sevenths is equal to dy over dt. And this is feet per second. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and put my answer up here. Um, let me give you an approximation for that, just so that we can kind of put this into perspective how quickly he's going. So this is approximately equal to 2.14285743 feet per second. Okay, so I can put my answer up here. I'm just going to write this in as 15 sevenths to give an exact answer. Okay, perfect. So I found my rate of change for y now. So the last part here, it's asking, um, actually what I did is I answered the second part here, at what rate is the length of his shadow increasing? We found that uh, at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving when he is 24 feet from the light post? Again, since we're dealing with a linear equation, we actually don't use that number. Okay, so basically what you do is you have this movement here and you have this movement here. And as the guy walks away, his shadow is increasing. So as x is increasing, y is increasing. Basically what's happening is you have this point which consists of x plus y, right? So we can call this entire line z and z consists of x plus y, right? Well, if that's the case, then if I differentiate with respect to time, I'll get dz over dt is equal to dx over dt plus dy over dt. Okay? So the way I think about this is this. I've been given a rate of change for one variable. Now I found the rate of change for the other. I see that these are on top of each other and they're both increasing. So I'm thinking, well, so in that case, maybe I should just add both rates of change. Yeah, you could just jump ahead and do that. But the proper way would be to set up an equation and differentiate with respect to time. And in this case here, z, I can call this z, this entire length here. So if I just look at this point as a line going through, what does it consist of? x plus y. So then z is equal to x plus y. I can find the rate of change just for this point alone as it's traveling along this line here. And that's dz, well when I differentiate with respect to time, I get dz over dt is equal to dx over dt plus dy over dt. Since I know these two, dz over dt is equal to, well, basically 5 plus 15 over 7. And that's equal to 50 over 7 feet per second. And that's approximately equal to 7.142857143 feet per second. And up here, everything's good, right? Feet per second everywhere? I'm good. Okay, let me just go ahead and write this over here. Okay, so this would be your final answer. Now, you could interpret these with words if you want, but um, I'm not going to do that right here. Meaning you could just write... You know, the man is walking away at this, so therefore his shadow is increasing at this rate. 
and the tip of his shadow from the light post is in, is uh, changing by by this amount right here, feet per second. Okay, and so to wrap things up, I'll just kind of give you the rundown as to what we did. I interpreted geometrically what the word problem stated, what they gave me. I asked myself what is moving and assigned variables to that. That was important. And um, I related the variables. In this case here, I was able to relate them with uh, similar triangles. Set up a ratio proportion, differentiated with respect to time. I was given the rate of change for one of the variables that I assigned to the geometric figure. And I was able to find the rate of change for the other variable with respect to time. And after I did that, I answered the other part of the question by creating another equation differentiated with respect to time on that one and got my final result for the rate of change for well basically the point of the shadow okay so I would say this part over here um, you can if they're on top of each other like this or well sideways but if they're connected like this and you're dealing with a linear equation you could just add the two together the two rates in this case here this would be the proper way to do it so now that you've seen it now you'll know to do this when you get, you know, on a test question or a challenge question. I would consider this problem to be kind of like a, like maybe a challenge question on a test. Um, it's not that difficult, but uh, as long as you get the basic idea here, this should be able to help you answer other kinds of questions for different problems. So anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful, and good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.